<laughs> all right what's up family all right this is my first ride since putting on the fat tire kit i feel def i definitely like the ride i love how it feels i'm getting a little bit of friction so i'm taking it up to harley i had a little trouble with my right side caliper and um i just can't seem to figure out why it's rubbing a bit but wow even the turn here feels amazing i'm gonna tell you fat tire kit makes the bike look sick i'm gonna give you guys the full profile shot of the bike later on so you can see what it looks like fully the um the only problem i think i'm gonna have is my center stand my manual center stand because the tire is so much more fatter and bigger in the front than the um the standard tire the thing about the fat tire the 18 inch tire is a 21 inch diameter so when you stand the bike up the it might not stand the way I wanted to stand as firm, but we'll find out later on when I put it on a steady on a steady surface. So as you guys know, I'm all I'm always transparent on anything that I do. I don't hide anything, you know? The, the caliper on the left side, like I said, has been a little tricky. I tried a couple of things. Um, I'm still not satisfied with it. The, 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 I bled the brakes and uh, still didn't build up enough pressure so i'm going to bring it to harley and have them charge me a thousand dollars maybe two thousand dollars to get this thing right but i got everything down to specs all the, the torque everything is torqued down to specs the bike feels smooth as heck I'm a, before i go to harley i'm gonna stop at my mom's house and give her something real quick but um i'm loving the bike i'm loving the king tour pack i'm loving the rack i'm loving the even the even my horn covers now is designed differently I had, I had got it powder coated all orange so I can sit back and ponder on uh, what I really want to do with that color with that cover but I'm loving the bike guys I freaking love it beast now feels like a beast now that I have the fat tire in the front because that skinny tire in the front of this beautiful monster of a bike was not cutting it for me all right and if you go back to my handlebar one of my handlebar install videos you, you hear me talking about the things that I'm gonna do to the bike, from the from the from the bags in the back, to the tank, to the uh, to the fat tire kit, everything that you heard me say I'm gonna do to my bike, I did it to my bike, and I'm glad I did it. I'm so happy. I still have some more things to do. All right. So now, what am I feeling in the front? Because there's a new front, and I'm used to my other tire. You're definitely gonna feel a different kind of a different kind of vibration. You're gonna feel a different type of um, control on the front fat tire kit than you would in the other regular stock tire um another thing i like about this too here's the thing that i do like about it so far is when i hit the bumps it's smooth man it doesn't it's maybe it's just my brain I, I don't know but when i hit those bumps it is smooth and it feels just nice also when i'm going to the turns the bike wants to turn back up straight so it's like the bike is like yo get into the turn I'm gonna hold you down, but we're gonna go back straight once you get out the turn. So it feels great. Right now as I'm riding, I feel more empowered. I feel more like, like Sensei, you see what I'm saying? So if you're thinking about getting that fat tire kit and you really, really, really want it, do like what I did, shop around, find out how you can get some deals because the kit is basically just the can, the four cans that's, that has a slash in it, a cut, you can buy that. For, you know buy that find that for maybe a hundred bucks or 200 bucks whatever you're gonna find that for and then the lower fork the lower part of the forks right you get that that's already machine cut and that's the that's the fat tire kit that's all it really is it's nothing crazy you know what i'm saying and then you figure if you want to use the axle or you want to use the flush axle you figure out what you want to do and then after that you're good to go and that's how you get and that's how you're going to get it going because and then you look for the rim you know what i'm saying find out where you're going to get the fat front rim from and what style you want because remember at the end of the day it's your bike but you know use your use your sense of shopping and you I'm, I'm telling you you're going to find some good deals if you shop around well i mean i waited and like i told you i, I paid 2400 bucks for my whole kit that's including the rims the tires the flush axle, the freaking lower forks, the upper cans, um, and that's what I paid for this for this kit. Great deal for me because the stuff that I'm seeing online 
starts at 2700 bucks and then by the time you get the rims and everything you're pretty much at like 45 to five thousand dollars so if you understand the deal that i got already you'll be like damn that's great but i waited i waited i wasn't in a hurry i did not hurry it Ooh, look at this now as i'm riding the bike guys it's starting to smooth out more and more my it feels like i'm already getting more accustomed to what the bike feels like oh man that feels good now i'm no, i'm noticing my traction my traction light is on so that's maybe because of the abs portion um it could be because of that but we'll find out i have hardly do that i'm gonna actually try to see if that if any codes pop up first and see if i can clear those codes by myself i see that the, 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 the air pressure the air pressure on my um, bike is also on that's only because of the new of all the new air and the new tires and all the stuff that the sensors have to pick up so all of that stuff is fine it's just checking out things and knowing your bike guys and not panicking about the bike you know what i'm saying and just um trusting yourself so i'm going to see if i can clear this out and and if not i'm still going to have harley look at it so beautiful morning it's supposed to rain this whole week i decided to get out and ride a bit first and uh just connect with you guys really fast i hope that you really start understanding what i've been begging you guys to do is to start leaving those comments stop just watching the videos leave the comments i don't care if you give me a thumbs up whatever you whatever you leave in the comment section is going to help the video you know what i mean but keep it positive man you know i'm, I'm not here for negativity but whatever you leave in the comment section it will help the algorithms to keep this channel growing so here's my goal before i'm gonna set a big goal i'm gonna see if you guys are gonna help me get it so before the end of this year right which happens pretty quick i mean right now when you look at the year right we have february is almost done i think today is the 11th of february so before the end of 2023 if life is still here i want to be at about 15,000 subscribers and i'm going to do that with the help from you guys 15,000 subscribers is what i'm looking for all right so leave the comments share these videos spread the word about ride fit nation and i'm looking forward to starting the clothing line of ride fit nation for all of you who want to be a part of this nation for real because after a while you're going to really understand what i've been trying to tell y'all you feel me Woo! let me see how this turn feels around in this roundabout there we go There we go. Boom. Oh, that feels good. That feels amazing. Yeah, you definitely feel the difference in these turns. The bike feels heavier, of course, because the bike now has a much more heavier tire in the front. All right, guys, so like I said, something wasn't feeling right on my bike and uh, I was correct. The gentleman who put the bearings and tires back together for me in the rims did not pay attention to what he was doing when he put the, the, um, the bearings in. So everything was put in the wrong way and it, it, it did all kinds of issues with the front. So $300 plus later, I'm excited to pay that money because my man Blaze from Falcon's Fury, Harley here in Conyers, was able to put my bike back together and the brakes and everything is feeling back to normal again. All right, I'm gonna show you guys what the bike looks like. It's pouring rain, got the rain gear on. I'm telling y'all to get your rain gear. Hopefully you can hear me because my battery here is dead. But here we go, baby.
right, there you go, guys. That's the bike. I love it. That's what matters at the end of the day. That's my style. I'm gonna take the back tires off next and get that powder coated to match out the black, um, to match out the orange. And then after that, I'm gonna get the floorboards, then get the lights installed. Then I'm gonna get some artwork done on the bike to tie everything together. And then after that, you know, you know the deal. Then there's more than after that, then after that, then after that. Now it's pouring rain out here. I don't think I'm gonna be in a hurry to ride. I'm gonna actually stay out here and chill for a bit. But let me give you guys another view of the bike. Remember, make your bike your own. At the end of the day, it ain't nobody else's bike. It's your bike and you make it the way you like, all right? Let's go. This is Donovan Sensei from Ride Fit Nation. Let's go for those miles. Let's get this money and let's get this muscle. All right, I'm out. Peace.